yeah hi everyone so welcome back to sk technologies so in this video so i will show you how to generate the sonar report so in the previous video we discussed about uh, the checkout and uh, we built our build artifact with the help of the maven tool so i have installed the maven uh, through global tools configuration right so there i have given a clean install goal then it's created a build artifact so now uh, i will go and start my sonar cube service then uh, i hope i installed in the same server guys so let me show you okay so i logged in by the root user so i think i installed under the sonar here only anyhow so if you want to start your sonar service you should switch to root uh, sonar user okay so go to this location yes so here uh, in this folder you are having the file called sonar.sh this uh, we already discussed right so let me check the status yes sonar is running guys so let me take the uh, public ip of my same server i have installed see jenkins sonar nexus fine so you can go and open this owner so what is the port number guys nine triple zero fine so this is my sonar okay so already i created this project anyhow you can observe here if you want you can create another project or you can delete so let me delete so because i forgotten my credentials okay the token we have generated right so so that's the reason i am creating another project so you can give any any sk tech uh, sonar sonar demo you can give any name not an issue so setup generate the token so continue java maven that's it guys you can copy this so this is for uh, with the help of these commands only we are uh, uh generating this sonar report right so you are giving this command in the in the maven server right so my maven also running in my jenkins server only so i will give this fine so let me go back to my jenkins page my jenkins page so under project one so this is my project right so click on configure so here so you can simply give build steps so clean install you given right so with the help of this you can pass this uh, command that's it guys okay so you can either if you want you can keep clean install or you can remove so let me provide this so here mvn not required guys you just provide from sonar onward sonar colon sonar then remaining all the things okay so copy this apply you can remove this not an issue so copy even you can execute the shells also guys so uh, uh, that i will uh, tell you later so save this now click on build now so make sure guys so nothing uh, available in my project okay so i just created this project right so now i am generating the a uh, new sonar report uh, with help of the jenkins job i triggered uh, observe here see it is generating the sonar report we got success see we got success you can go and uh, refresh the page uh, you will see the sonar report see so any server guys the sonar normally in the real time the sonar is uh, running on the different server only okay so you can simply go and execute take the the credentials these lines are very important okay so in the real time also we are using the same options guys so sonar colon sonar is the uh, this is the goal actually so that this is the project name and uh, this is the your url sonar cube url and uh, this is the token sonar cube token so the, with the help of this token only we are pushing our sonar report into the dashboard okay so that's it guys so this is a very simple way to generate your sonar report 
So normally in the real time, uh, we are sending this report uh, or emails uh, to the developers uh, that we will see in the email section. Uh, so we will try to send the notification and uh, the job results and all uh, we will send. Okay. So that's it for this video. So we will see uh, artifact push and Docker and all. So we will see later guys. Okay. So thanks for watching. Bye.